Now, if we've been Mac users for years, we probably bought movies on iTunes. Now, obviously, things like Netflix, Amazon and all those, that's just browser based. But what about, you know, how do you play your iTunes movies on this? Now, this is an interesting one. Apple actually give you and let's bring up a browser. Let's close this. Let's just go into a new workspace. Actually, the Apple actually give you a way to do this. So if I go to Super B, you can actually log in to Apple TV, TV .apple online. Here we go. And I'm logged. Am I logged in yet? Yeah. I've got to sign in. So it's making me sign in, but you can sign in. And then if you look at the top here, there's a little thing that turns it in. Copy URL or you get it. First of all, you can open in app. You can make it an app. OK, which is like a web app. So if you go in here, I've got Apple TV. So Apple TV as an app. Much of it, you've got WhatsApp and all those things built in as an app. So if I hit this, it will take me into Apple TV now. It's not logged in. This is one of the weird things. I have to keep logging in every time. It will let me play. Absolutely. It'll let me play. It won't let me see my library yet. But I've been researching ways around this and it's a bit convoluted because at the bottom, if I ever get to the bottom, it doesn't start jumping up. It start jumping up. Right. Down here, it says you can do it on Google television. So fundamentally, you could install Waydroid on this. It's a bit convoluted and you could you could run the app because I can't see my library at the moment.